Happy Halloween month, my friends! In this video, we are going to be exploring John Carpenter's Halloween because, in fact, the reboot of Halloween is coming out in a couple weeks, so what better time to learn this amazing, iconic theme song that was composed by John Carpenter himself. So grab your ukulele, get it tuned up, and we're going to start going through this cool, spooky little song. Beware. So the first thing we need to do here is learn the finger picking pattern. So the cool thing about this pattern is, is it just kind of consistently repeats over and over again throughout the song. So the first thing we need to do, always important when we do finger picking, is get that pinky, glue it to the base of the ukulele right below the sound hole. That keeps your hands stabilized. You're not going to be jumping up and down. Keeps everything flat and keeps this hand parallel to the strings, which is what you want. So let's take a look at the pattern. Now we're only going to be using the bottom two strings, the E string and the A string for this entire song. So we're going to put our thumb on top of the E string and you can either use your index or middle finger to hook underneath the A string. I like to use my middle finger. I feel like it spaces out, but everybody's hands are different. So you could do the same thing with your index finger. Here is the pattern. I'll tell you the string name as I'm playing it, and I'm just using the open strings here to demonstrate the pattern. The first part of the pattern is A string, and then E string twice, and then A string again, and then E string twice, and then A, E, A, E. So let me go through that again. So it's A, E, E, A, E, E, A, E, A, E. So that counts for one time through the strumming pattern. So in the tablature PDF, um, I'll have it noted how many times you do that for each position. All right, now make sure your ukulele is in tune and let's play this together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. A, E, E, A, E, E, A, E, A, E, A, E, E, A, E, E, A, E, A, E. All righty. Let's take a look at the left hand here. This is pretty easy. We're gonna start by putting our ring finger on the fourth fret on the A string. This is a C sharp note, so it should sound like that. And with your index finger, you're gonna place that on the E string on the second fret here. Now this is the key of the actual song. Um, you could move this all over the place if you wanted to play it higher or lower, but to keep it with the key of the song, we're gonna do it here. So we've got fourth fret with the ring finger on the A string, second fret with the index finger on the E string. So it'll sound like this if you played them. Now when the music moves a little bit, all that happens is this chord shifts down to the first and third fret. And then when it goes lower, you shift it down one more so that you're playing here on the second fret with the ring finger on the A string and the E string is now open. Those are the finger positions. Now let's take a look at playing this with the right and the left hand. To start off, make sure you're in good playing position here. You're tuned up. Your pinky is resting on the base of the ukulele. You have your thumb grabbing the E string and your middle finger or index finger underneath the A string here with your right hand. And with your left hand, ring finger on the fourth fret, C sharp note, index finger on the F sharp note here, which is the second fret on the E string. So I'm gonna play through it nice and slow, and then I'll explain exactly what I'm doing. Slowly, it's A, E, E, A, E, E, A, E. 
Here's the one change that happens. The pinky goes to the fifth fret, and we do A, E again. So I'm gonna do the same finger picking pattern. So it's A, E, E, A, E, E, A, E, A, E. Okay, so I counted nine times that this happens here with the C sharp and the F sharp note here on the second and fourth fret. Before it moves down, the same position here on the first and third fret. So the ring finger is now in the A string third fret, like a C chord, and the index finger here on the F note, which is the first fret on the E string. And you're gonna keep with that same pattern. So I'm gonna tell you the string names that I'm plucking as I go here, rather than giving you the notes that I'm actually playing. So, a, E, E, A, E, E, A, E, A, E. So I snuck that little pinky finger move in there, and that's just the second to last note. One more move here. We're gonna go a little bit lower. The ring finger is gonna go down to the second fret. The E string is now open, and we're gonna do that pattern again. So it's A, E, E, A, E. A, E, A, E. So once again, I snuck that pinky finger onto the C note here on the third fret for the end of that melody. Now the cool thing about this pattern is, is you could play it anywhere. If you wanted to play it up here on the seventh and ninth fret, you could do the same thing. It would just be a little bit higher. So try this all over the neck and kind of see what sounds good to you. If you want to play it just like the recording, you play it here on the second and fourth fret, but I kind of just had fun moving around the neck and trying to play it in a bunch of different places just to see what it sounded like. And you can kind of chromatically move down with this chord all the way down the neck and it'll sound pretty freaky. All right, let's play this together now. The way we're gonna set this up is we're gonna do two times on each position. So we're gonna start here with the second and fourth fret, twice, twice on the first and third fret, and then twice on the open string with the second fret on the A string. So one time through the pattern equals this. So we're going to do that twice per position here. All right, here we go, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Last one. All right, now that you've practiced it slow, we're gonna do it a little bit faster. So we're gonna do it four times per position. So four times here, four times here, and then four times here. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Well, now you can scare your friends with a ukulele. If you guys like this video, any of the videos, make sure you subscribe. Click the little alert bell below so you're the first to know when the next video is coming out. We got a lot of great content coming up for you, so we want you to be the first to know. Also, very important, grab the tab. 
These will really help you with the videos. So jump over to allforyuke.com. We've got tablature put together for all of these songs and they'll really help. You can put it side by side with the video and I promise you it will make the learning experience a lot easier. Thanks for watching guys. I hope to see you again soon. Mm -hmm.